My name is Dr. Tochi Okwasa. I'm a cardiologist and a professor of cardiology here at Rush University Medical Center. My subspecialty in cardiology is cardio-oncology, which is basically managing heart disease in cancer patients. I am a clinician, a researcher, and a teacher here at the Rush Medical College as well. Cardiology is a way for me to marry two things that I love. One of them is the math and the physics and taking care of patients in a very, very logical way but also addressing a major cause of morbidity and mortality in the United States, which is heart disease, and also addressing it in our underserved minority populations as well. So that's really important because there's still a lot of inroad to be made with our population. One of the most important risk factors that increases the risk of heart attacks, strokes, heart failure, people ending up on dialysis and so on, is high blood pressure. Black people overall have the highest rates of heart disease amongst any other population within the United States. So this makes it a very, very important and pivotal issue to discuss. It's especially a major cause of disparities in care amongst the Black population, but it's one that can be managed. If you get a good physician that's focused on doing their best to control your blood pressure, good education, and with good policies overall. I'm very passionate about what I do. I have a strong love for my patients. And regardless of race, gender, ethnicity, I take care of all my patients alike. Because in my opinion, each patient I see is something to someone. And my motto is, I will treat my patients the way I want my family members to be treated by another physician or another healthcare worker. As an educator, I advise my students to be curious, to read, to find out more. If you're taking care of a particular patient, then read up on read up on the issues on that particular patient or the issues that they have so that you'll never forget it because then you're actually taking care of that patient on something that you've learned and something that you're going to use. So I think education is particularly important for us to take charge of anything that we need to do in life. I believe in leadership by example. Being a role model for my students that are following me in clinic, seeing the way I'm treating patients, the respect I have for patients, the way I take very good care of patients and make do my very best to ensure that I make excellent plans for the management of their health, then those students can also propagate those habits when they're also taking care of other patients. So to me, that's really important. And then, you know, for my Black patients, there are studies out there that have shown that patients relate very well to physicians or healthcare workers that are the same skin color as them because they feel like these people can empathize with them, these people can relate to them. There are not very many black cardiologists in the country, and of course there are not many female black cardiologists, and I feel like that connection that patients have with their physician makes it much easier for those patients to do what they need to do to take charge of their health because there's that rapport that they develop for the physician, that there's that trust factor with the physician that's taking care of them. So why do I think this series is important? I think number one, it's important because not very many people understand risk factors for heart disease. Not very many people understand the sort of things that you can do to take care of their heart. Not very many people even understand symptoms of heart disease or the sort of symptoms to be aware of. So I feel educating our patient population is particularly important to help make a difference overall when it comes to heart disease, morbidity, and mortality. And specifically, if we're focused on discussing issues within the Black population, if you look at the literature, you find that even though Black people are more likely to have high blood pressure and are more likely to have heart problems relating to the blood pressure, Black people are less likely to be taking medications for blood pressure. They're also less likely to be aware of the fact that they have high blood pressure. So I think as much education as we can get out there to educate our Black patients, our Black population, is particularly important to help reduce those disparities in care.